What's going on, riders? It's that time for a ride home review. And this week is the well, this time of the week, it's the new stream of the of the week. And we're gonna we're gonna be talking about Troop Zero, which is from Amazon. And it stars Jim Gaffigan, Viola Davis, and McKenna Grace, and is directed by Burton Birdie. And before we get into that, do not forget to subscribe to Ride Home Reviews on your favorite podcasting platform, including Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify, as well as subscribe on YouTube, follow on Instagram, and like on Facebook. Now, the movie is about a young girl, probably around 10 or 11, um, who's interested in science and space and finds out that there's a possibility that she can get on the golden record, which is a which is a true thing, um, a record that is put on a set, put on a spacecraft and sent out into the, into the universe. And, but to do that, she had to win it, win a contest as a birdie scout and she's not a birdie scout. So, um, so what I liked about this film was number one, I liked the concept of the, the fighting gender roles and I enjoyed what they did in that, that respect in that regard where they didn't overplay it, but they didn't underplay it. Um, and I thought they put it out there perfectly. Um, I liked the, the cast that they, they put out there. I'm I'm fans of Viola Davis and Jim Gaffigan and Alice and Janney. Um, I think all of them are spectacular performers. And they showed that why here. Um, I liked the concept of the golden record, which is something that I've not seen put in a film before. But it's something that really happened, and it's something and, you know, and it's in its right time frame. So, and the music and the feel and the production uh, design and and of of the movie in and of itself and how they how they portrayed that was very strong. I really thought that that was a really good job on, on, uh, the director's part to do that. And the directors did a well, good job working with the girls, the young girls, uh, helping them form their characters and forming their situations. I read somewhere that someone called this the Sandlot of 2020. I would, I would agree with that. I would put that up there with the Sandlot. Um, the one things that the, the biggest thing, that I didn't care for with this, with this film was, um, uh, as strong as the concept were and the strong, everybody brought their a game when it came to performing and, um, the directing and such. But, um, I felt that the story could have been stronger towards the comedic aspects of some of the, the folks involved as well as, uh, there was a lot of cliches, a lot of predictability. Um, and, um, I thought, felt that hurt the, the narrative a little bit. Um, but all in all the, uh, um, the, 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 the performances and the flow and the creativity of what happened technically overshadowed, uh, the lack of the punch in the story. Cause I thought, like I said, it was very cliched. Um, you knew what was going to, yeah, it's just so, um, yeah. So, but however, I would say that it is very close to being Sandlot esque and what to watch for, um, is one of the characters, uh, uh one of the girls who didn't really, in fact, I don't think she really had her own line <laughs> in the movie. She played a um, the character. Oh gosh, what was her character's name? I think it was uh, yeah, Smash. She played Smash, and she was flipping hilarious. Um, she was the really big bright spot with the co with the comedic edge in this. So so watch for her. Um, all in all, I give this film a yes. I thought it was a nice, lighthearted family based comedy that just, um, delivered through the performances and you liked the girls. You really did. You fell for them. 
So, so yeah, so that is on Amazon, uh, Amazon Prime. You can watch it there. And, yeah, so check it out. You can watch it at any point in time if you have that subscription. And that is the review for today. And if you would, go ahead and subscribe to Ride Home Reviews on your, like I said, on your favorite podcasting platform, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. That's where I'm at. And if you have any comments or ratings, please send them my way. I appreciate it. And until next time, watch something cool. Bye, everybody.